What is up you guys, welcome back to Legendary Productions, and today we have the official set images for the brand new Summer Wave of Ninjago. Now these consist of the Season 15 sets, as well as the brand new Legacy 10th Anniversary sets. In my opinion, these look really, really good, and if you go on to enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video with the first set, which is set 71750, Lloyd's Hydro Mech. Now guys, this set is very like bland, but it's also really, really good. Like, There's nothing exciting to this really, but it is a really, really good set. Like, It matches the show perfectly in my opinion. Like, It looks really good. You get too many figures, which is Lloyd and a Marae Guard. You get the Wave Amulet, and then you get the Hydro Mech. This is really, really cool. Now, will I pick this one up? Absolutely. It's about 20 bucks. Really cool set. Now, moving on to the next set, we have 71752. Now, I don't really understand this name. It's the Ninja Sub Speedster or whatever. But this is Jay's car from the show, and this is really, really sick. Like, I actually do like this one. Like, I like this one a lot more with these images than I thought I was going to. Probably will pick someone. You get Scuba Cole and Scuba Jay. Then two Murray guards, the wave amulet, and then you get the vehicle. Now this is really cool, but what's weird is that we never saw Kai and Cole's scuba suit in the show. But they appear in these sets, which is very interesting. But this set is good overall. And now moving on, we have the next set, which is set 71754 Water Dragon. Guys, this set's amazing. I love this one. Like, I really do. We may get a lot of dragons, but I really do like this one. We've never gotten a Nia Dragon, and this is sick. Especially in the context of the show, but I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys. But this is really cool. I love everything about this set. We have NRG Nia, we have Scuba Zane, two Moray Guards, and then we have Kalmar. Now this is really cool. And this will be the cheapest way to get NRG Nia, which in my opinion is a great figure. Alright, moving on to the next set, we have the $100 set, which is really, really cool, which is set 71755, Tibble of the Endless Sea. This set is sick. Now, I really do wish that Ojira was her own set, so she could be a lot bigger, because in this set, she's not the greatest build, but she is a good one nonetheless. Like, she's not bad at all. It looks really good. And then the actual temple is actually really cool, in my opinion. I love all the colors. They, it all mixes really well together. But the best part of the set is that we get Benthamar, as well as Scuba Kai. But basically, Benthamar is in this set. Praise the Lord. This is awesome. I love that figure. Moving on, we have the final Season 15 set. We have seven set one set seven one seven five six hydro bounty. I actually really like this one. I was not expecting to like the hydro bounty as much as I do. I personally have the season thirteen bounty, but this one's great. Like I really do like this one. I will probably be picking this one up. This is really really cool. You get scuba kai, scuba zane. You can basically get all the ninja in the set. Two, one Murray guard, and then you get calamar. So this is really really cool. Love this set. Now we move on to the Ninjago Legacy sets with the first set, which is set 71753, Fire Dragon Attack. This brings back so much nostalgia, guys. I love this set so, so much. This is a great upgrade from that 4 plus set. This is really, really good. I like, I really do like this set. You get Kai, Zane, and a Skulkin. And then, like, this is just really, really cool. I do really love this set. The wings look really good. Like, they look better than I was expecting them to. The head's really good as well. The body is built pretty well. And then, of course, we get the 10th anniversary figure in the set, which is Nia. Probably one of my favorites of the 10th anniversary suits. I do like that one a lot. Now, moving on to the last set of this video, we have set 71739 Ultra Sonic Raider. I've been excited for this set since day one. I am so excited to be getting my hands on this set. This set was just one of those that I never picked up before. I never got the original, never got the upgrade. So I'm definitely picking this one up. Like This one actually does look really good. We also get a brand new snake figure in this set, which is awesome because we don't have many new ones. So there you go. We get another snake, which is really, really cool. I do love that. You get all the Legacy Ninja, which is nothing new at all. But the 10th anniversary figure of this set is Golden Zane, which is weird because they put Zane and Zane in the same set, but also cool. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for all the sets. We did see two 4 Plus sets, but I've already covered one of those, which is the Destiny's Bounty from Possession. And the other one is a Kai's Blade Cycle, but those don't really interest me. You can probably find those in a lot of other videos, but I definitely won't be picking those up in my opinion. Because they didn't look as good as I was thinking they were going to. Now, the Kai's Blade Cycle, not too bad. Bounty? <laughs> no. But the sets overall do look really, really good. Like, I do love these sets. 
Like, I will probably be getting the entire way, but I have one complaint. Where is Maya in the season 15 set? She was such a major character in this season. So I was really, really hoping we would get her, and at most, Ray in these sets. Because it's been since 2017 since we've gotten those figures. I was really, really hoping she would be there. She helped Nia this entire season. So I was really hoping they would put Maya in the set. Because that Maya figure is so expensive. But other than that, sets were really, really good. Super excited to be picking them up. Also, let me know what you got, what sets you guys want to pick up in the comments below. I really want to hear your thoughts on these sets. I personally do really like every one of these sets, and I'll probably be picking all of them up. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So, if you did like this video, please leave a like on the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We just hit 500 subscribers, which is amazing. Can't wait to hit 1,000. But yeah, guys, that's basically going to do it for today's video. This is LegoNet Productions. Peace out. See you guys in the next video.